Well, what is a conditional equation anyways? Well, uh, let's just solve this one, and I'll show you what a conditional equation is. Uh, the first thing you got to do is uh, simplify both sides of the equation. So you're going to simplify this expression and this expression that make up this equation. Follow the order of operations. And let's not forget those order of operations. Uh, most people learn about PEMDAS, but I don't like PEMDAS. I like Gemma. Now with Gemma, we do uh, groups first, then exponents, multiplication and division, and then addition and subtraction. So uh, I look inside my groups, that group, that group, I can't do anything. So um, I move on to exponents. There's no exponents. Next is multiplication. I see multiplication, so I'm going to distribute the 6. So you get 6 times x, which is 6x. Six, 6 times negative 1, which is negative 6, plus 4 equals, and then on this side we go uh, 3 times 7, which will be 21x, and then 3 times 1, which would be 3. Uh, then, the next thing for each side would be addition or subtraction. I see um, an addition right here, combination problem. We can go negative 6 plus 4, which would be negative 2. So we have 6x minus 2 on that side, and then on the, left, on the right side, uh, the same thing, nothing happens. So in order to solve for x, as you guys might remember, you got to get all the x, very, x numbers, x terms on the same side. Uh, I'm going to choose to subtract 6x from both sides just so that I can steer away from negative numbers. 6x uh, minus 6x, that's going to be 0. So I'm just left with negative 2 on the left side. On the right side, I go 21 minus 6, that'll be 15x. Add the 3. Now let's move the constant over to the other constant by subtracting 3. So 3 minus 3 is 0, so on the right side I'm left with 15x, and on the left side I get negative 5. Finally, to get the x alone, I must divide by 15. 15 divided by 15 is 1x, but again, we don't have to write the 1. Um, then this side I divide by 15. Simplify that by dividing the top and the bottom by 5. So we get negative 1 on top, and then we have 3 on the bottom. And that is our answer. A conditional equation has one solution.